What's up? I'm literally gonna be in a compilation of cringy white people dancing. Oh. Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every week. Anyway, you read the title correctly. Yes, me, an uncultured white boy is going to be trying Korean skincare. Why? I don't know, you clicked on the video, you tell me. If you've seen any of the comment sections on any of my videos, you will see that people are constantly asking me to review Korean skincare, and I'm just like, why? I ain't nothing but a small town white boy. Koreans already have perfect skin, why do I need to say anything about it? But regardless, here I am, a white boy going to delve into the depths of Korean skincare. Let's uh do this. Yeah. <laughs> Now in this specific video, I'm going to be reviewing Cosrx. Cosrx. Cosrx, the super, super cult favorite beauty brand that focuses on providing high quality skincare for a low price point, which is something that I love because you know I'm a cheap ass bitch. Now I'm relatively new to the entire Korean skincare community and there's a couple reasons for that. First of all, there's so many fucking products to try out there and I honestly just haven't expanded into the Korean skincare community. I live in Hawaii and while yes, it is located closer to Asia, the options that we have for good Korean skincare is just not as excessive as you think they would be. The second reason is because I am very very picky when it comes to ingredient lists you guys know this and one of the reasons why I haven't delved super deeply into Korean skincare is because overall Korea as a country has a different standard for cosmetic regulation than the US and while yes the US for cosmetic regulation is kind of a shit show it's just a lot easier to be informed about the ethics and the standards of a company as opposed to one in Korea where there's personally just a language barrier this is not me discounting Korean skincare in any way like Korean skincare is revolutionary and I know that they are so so far ahead of us in so many ways, but it's hard to know which brands to go for and which brands to not go for. As you guys know, I tend to go towards fragrance-free, non-irritating ingredient lists, and it's really hard to decipher that when it comes to products that are created in a different country with different standards in a different language. However, that is no excuse for me, and it is time that I pop my Korean skincare cherry and just delve into the world of Korean skincare because I am way too late. As I delve into the products, I do want to say that all the links to the products are in my description box below. If you do want to support me and help me get to my goal of being a full-time YouTuber, I don't know why I did this, be sure to use the affiliate links because anything you purchase off of those links, I will get a commission from. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys for being so supportive of my goal. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Now I want to paint a picture for you as to how I found these products because this bitch lives in Hawaii and finding CauseRx products surprisingly is super, super, super difficult. But I was in the mainland visiting in Seattle, Washington and I was at this random mall. I don't even remember what it was called. When all of a sudden I found this store called Riley Rose. I walked inside and found the skincare section. <laughs> From ceiling to floor, there was Korean skincare everywhere browsing everything and when i found the CauseRx stand and um i shit myself i was so freaking excited and your boy went wild so i got way too much skincare and then i ended up demanding that my friends take me a second time to the store which was you know lovely and great for them and i immediately started to use these three products it's been over a month since i went on that trip so i've had a pretty good amount of time to collect my thoughts about these products and i'm super super excited to tell you guys what i think so the first product i want to talk about is the aha slash bha clarifying treatment toner why do skincare titles have to be so Fucking long, it drives me crazy. This is an exfoliating fluid that comes in a spray. Just uh, dripped all over my station. Anyway, this is a spray toner that you apply to your face every morning or every night that helps to gently dissolve away the dead skin cells on your face. If you're not familiar with chemical exfoliation, look at my video in the description box below. I tell you all about how to exfoliate for your skin type. Now as for the ingredients, because you guys know that I am obsessed with looking at the ingredient list, this toner includes almost 75% of mineral water specifically from Jeju Island, which makes it sound really fancy, but honestly, I don't know what the specific benefits of having mineral water from the Korean island is? Are? Eh? It also includes 10% of willow bark water, which is very similar to salicylic acid because salicylic acid is extracted from willow bark, and 10% apple fruit extract. Now, what do all these ingredients do? Mineral water, just kind of for hydration and balancing of the skin. Honestly, when they said like it's from Jeju Island, I was like, 
Okay. I'm not opposed to it, but I'm not necessarily for it. It is what it is, mineral water. But the star ingredients are definitely willow bark water, which is great because salicylic acid is extracted from willow bark. And salicylic acid is incredible for going deep into the pores, pushing out all the dirt and impurities. Just a really great exfoliant especially if you have oily skin. As well as the apple fruit extract, which is an amazing alpha hydroxy acid, just super good for dissolving away the dead skin cells on the face. As for bad ingredients, honestly, this product really doesn't have any. As I looked through the ingredient list, I'm like, great, no fragrance, no filler ingredients, nothing unnecessary. It really provides a good balance. Now, over the time that I used it, I found that this toner, while I did see a little bit of results, it wasn't quite the results that I was looking for. When I look for an exfoliant, I want something that's really power packed, that will give a punch. Like I can see a difference pretty rapidly just because I have pretty oily skin. And with an excess amount of oil, you're creating a lot of layers of oil across the face, which can lead to poor blockage. So I really want something to just bulldoze away at all the dead skin cells. So while I did see a little bit of a difference, I do have two complaints when it comes to this product. First of all, I just didn't see the difference that I was quite looking for. And this is just very, very gentle. So if you have extremely sensitive skin, it could be a really good option for you. There's also one thing to note, this is a toner. It's not like a serum or a mask. So I can understand why they would want to make it really, really gentle, especially if you're including other exfoliants in your skincare routine or just using this during the daytime. But personally, I like something a little bit more power pack, a little bit more spicy. The second complaint I have is that this packaging is so fucking bad. Honestly, guys, if you see the products right down to here, I would probably have half of that if it wasn't for how bad this applicator is because every single time I used it, there was so much product leaking out of it to where literally I would see little pools on the ground beneath. That's how much this thing leaks and I absolutely hated it. So that's honestly probably my biggest complaint for this product and unfortunately why I won't be repurchasing this product. The bottle is just so bad. Maybe it was just my bottle, but I don't know. It just really kind of interrupted the whole experience for me. The second product I want to talk about is the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This is one of the most talked about products and ingredients when it comes to Korean skincare. You go online anywhere and honestly this has five star reviews all over the place. What this is, is this is a concentrated essence with 96% snail mucin. If you're wondering what snail mucin is, it's exactly what it sounds like. Basically the residue that snails leave behind when they travel anywhere. So as they're just kind of sliding along and you see that little icky sticky stuff, you guessed it, you smear that across your face. And when I first heard about snail mucin, I was like, uh, come again? But honestly, when it comes to beauty, I'm willing to try pretty much anything to get perfect skin. So, so I really wasn't too bothered by the whole process of putting snail mucin on my face. Now, when it comes to the ingredients for this product, obviously it's 96% snail mucin, but it also includes sodium hyaluronate, which is a concentrated form of hyaluronic acid, which is a great humectant for attracting moisture into the skin and making your products penetrate easier into the skin. Overall, this product is really aimed at softening the skin, hydrating it, as well as preventing aging and damage. You know your I loves to do scientific research. So when I first saw this product, I was like, hmm, where is the evidence? So I did a little bit of research and I found that there are a few studies confirming the positive effects that snail mucin has on the skin. Not only did they find that it diminished fine lines and wrinkles within the face and restored the skin from photo damage, which is sun damage, the main cause for aging and dark spots and pretty much all the bad shit that happens in our skin. There was also another study that found that snail mucin helps to repair against inflammation and damage within the skin overall. So there definitely is some research out there, but there's still a lot of research to be done on this ingredient. In addition, when I first saw this product, I was like, ooh, this is an animal byproduct. And for all you people out there who are really concerned with the ethics of animal treatment when it comes to skincare, I really wanted to make sure that this product was ethical in form. And when I did a little bit of research, CauseRx hasn't been 100% transparent about the way that they extract mucin from snails, but the way that they describe it to people is basically they put the snails in a dark room on this mesh net, and they basically just let the snail chill and just kind of like, you know, do their thing, hang with the kids, catch up with the family. And in that process, the snail mucin collects on the mesh and then they take the snails off, take the mucin off the mesh and then purify it and put it into the bottles for us to use. So overall, the ethics surrounding this product, honestly, I think are okay. You know, we need to do a little bit more research, but so far it looks like it has a pass. If you want to see the articles outlining the research and the treatment of snails, I have linked them in the description box below. As for my thoughts about this product, I absolutely love this product. 
product and it's something that I'm going to be using until the very last drop because overall I noticed that it made my skin so much softer and it just really helped to rejuvenate it and just make my skin look more plump, hydrated, and even out the tone as well. You only need a tiny little bit, which is one of the reasons I love it. And for the price point, honestly, just an incredible product and one that I really recommend everyone gets. And I've seen amazing results within my skin and I definitely recommend it to you. All right, for the third and final product I'm going to be talking about, the Poreless Fluid, Poreless, Poreless Liquid Fluid Liquid, two-in-one poreless power liquid. Oh. But when I purchased this product, I specifically wanted to use it for my beard area, although I don't have a beard, but I do have to shave every single day. And razor burn is a bitch. I get so much razor burn and a lot of blockage around here. So I was thinking, okay, this would be a really good lightweight liquid to just put on the shaving areas to make sure I don't get any razor burn or blockage. It is formulated with 88% willow bark water, which similar to the toner is really good for just deeply cleansing the pores, making sure that there's no build up. However, there are a few bad ingredients on my list. There's a menthol lactate, which is basically a form of menthol that kind of adds a cooling sensation to the skin. And that's usually not a good thing to find in skincare, specifically because this ingredient is very similar to an essential oil. It's just overly drying and sensitizing, really offers no good benefits to your skin besides that feeling of coolness. In addition, this product also includes peppermint extract. If you guys aren't familiar with my stance on essential oils, I will link a video in the description box below. It talks about fragrance and how essential oils can be so harmful for your skin. And honestly, I only noticed that this product was formulated with those two ingredients way after I started using the product because someone didn't do enough research. I really got to analyze the ingredient list better next time. And overall, as for my thoughts on this product, it was okay. I didn't notice anything amazing. I honestly found myself agreeing with the king of skincare on YouTube, James Welsh, where he said that this is kind of a meh product, like it didn't really do anything amazing for the skin. It's not necessarily bad, but that he'd prefer to use a stronger salicylic acid treatment. And I couldn't agree more. All right, I think that kind of sums up all of my thoughts on these products. Whew, that was a lot of talking. I have purchased a lot more Cosrx products, which I will be reviewing in the future. This whole white boy tries Korean skincare, I think it's honestly kind of a fun series to do. And I'm going to be trying a lot more Korean skincare from a lot more brands that are currently sitting on my shelf being used. But honestly, I just wanted to give you a little bit of my thoughts when it comes to some of the top sellers within the beauty industry. And I hope you liked the review. Let me know what products you want to see me review next. List all of your favorite Korean skincare products down below or the ones that you're just like, I really want to see what he thinks. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.